Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got an interesting video because a while ago I covered my first drink reaction to the marshmallow Coke flavor, and because I feel like that's a very, very small niche for uh, beverages with EDM people on it, I feel like I've now become the de facto reviewer of said EDM drinks. And so today we've got ourselves some very own Dead Mouse Cocoa Vodka. So first of all, I'm not entirely sure how this drink came about or what it even is, but it's a limited edition Coco Vodka X Dead Mouse. It is real coconut water with triple distilled vodka in it. Uh, it's a 5% alcohol at uh, 473 milliliters. So also just note, drink responsibly. I'm just going to have this single can for the video. I'm not going nuts. I also don't even really drink that much nowadays. And so uh, let's, uh, let's. okay, what's on the back of this here? Okay, so it says the original hard coconut water, the original Lord of EDM and the original <laughs> hard coconut water collided to bring you this limited edition Dead Mouse can. All the party of Dead Mouse, all the flavor of Cocoa Vodka, escape with Dead Mouse and Cocoa Vodka. <laughs> it's a little bit of bad for those who want something good. This refreshing Cocoa Vodka only has a few ingredients, all you'll recognize, like fresh water from young coconuts, lightly carbonated filtered water, and triple distilled vodka. Also, I see potassium sorbate on here. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that one is. Serve chilled, which it currently is. So let's, uh, you know, let's give this a drink. Also note, I don't like coconut water. So this is going to be great. Um, coconut is one of the flavors I do not enjoy. So let's do it. Mmm, it does smell like a, a, a coconut vodka seltzer. This is, it's a vodka seltzer. It's a, yeah. So let's, let's, let's see how this goes. Wow, that is heavy coconut flavoring, I will say. Quite heavy coconut flavoring. And I am not a coconut fan. But the good thing is I don't taste a ton of vodka in it. Wow, that has like a significant aftertaste of coconut. Like a whole nother wave came on after that. Wow. Um, you know, this is kind of like some of the music I review and rate sometimes because there's stuff that I don't generally enjoy and I know going into it, it's a genre or a subgenre that I don't enjoy, but I still have to give a, a good review for it, even though I may not in, in like it. So let's just give her a go again. Wow, that is so much coconut, like so much coconut. Okay, you know, sadly... I don't think I'm going to finish this can. <laughs> I'm not a fan of coconut at all. And this is very coconutty. So I'm going to leave this as is. Really not my personal flavor, not my style, but I will give it a bow tied four out of 10. But uh, let me know if there's any other drinks you want me to try. Any other EDM uh, fusion of cans of whatever uh, EDM artists. I don't know how I keep finding these or how these keep popping up. This feels very niche. Uh, but uh, we're going to, I guess, do them as things go on. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in another video.